But what I'm really wondering is why wherever we are is in black and white. And why that waterfall there is frozen. Actually, it looks like this entire world is frozen in time or something. Actually, nothing is animated except for that ring of light, the king red lines, Link, obviously, and the sky, I guess. Not even the grass is animated, like it's not swishing or anything. It's as if time is frozen. So, we're in some sort of castle in this land of the sea, and we're greeted by this moblin. We have this statue, which is the only real thing that was worth noticing. The Triforce symbol up there, and that statue. Okay, let me, let me actually pull out the telescope so we can get a good look at it. Yeah, it's it looks like the Hero of Time from the prologue. I mean, the intro. It looks like he has the Master Sword, actually. Huh. I have no clue where it could be. I believe he's referring to the statue. Well, actually, the clue he's referring to is kind of vague. I'm guessing he's referring to the Triforce thing, because what we're basically going to do here is push these statues to form a Triforce. It's kind of vague, though, I mean, what he's referring, like, what he means by that. It's obvious you have to push these, these blocks, but what he kind of means, I guess, is kind of vague. Maybe it's just me. Why am I having a hard time pu pushing this? Okay, so this is their way of defending whatever's in there. That is a very easy puzzle. Seriously. Kid, the kids of today... Wait, isn't the King of Alliance gonna talk to us? Or something? Okay, here he is. That's an easy puzzle! It it doesn't even take you like five seconds to figure out unless your eye just steam or something. Because only I just would struggle with a puzzle like that. I mean, she struggled with the first puzzle of Portal 2, for God's sake.
Oh yeah! We got the Master Sword. Maybe this is a land that the heroes saved? Like the land mentioned in the beginning? But the Master Sword looks different from what it was depicted in Ocarina of Time and every other Zelda game, and even the statue in the intro. It's edges are dull. Huh. I don't know. It looks, it looks like a sword, like a bit of a saber, like the stun club from Ape Escape. But, before we leave, this is actually something interesting we can look at. We have a stained glass portrait of Nibiru, Impa, Darunia, and Ganon in, in what is his final form in Ocarina of Time. I don't know why he's actually up there. But we also have Saria, Raru, and Rudo, who is possibly the creepiest sage, I swear, she tried to marry Link. Like, this is not a Sonic game! Beastolinity is only... Actually, Beastolinity is not fine even in Sonic game. Seriously. But yeah, that's a nice little thing. The Master Sword's here, and we have those portraits of the sages. Yep. There's quite a bit I could talk about here, about like the Master Sword, the sages being there, the portraits in outside here. But that would spoil far too much. I'm only going to talk about that when we're done with the Forsaken Fortress. Now, we have a lot of enemies here. And we can't leave until we deal with them, I guess. This is maybe the game's way of getting us used to the Master Sword. But this is a great opportunity to use the Elixir Soup here. So, let's try our new Master Sword. Out. Oh, I lost my Elixir Soup. My double damage already. How that hit the Moblin who is wondering where his weapon is. So I wonder if I can hit him. Okay, I can. <laughs> but look at that Moblin, look at him go. He's so clueless. Which is about the what's interesting about the That Durgan was frozen there. But Look at him. That's hilarious. He's making a sound, too. Actually, I wonder if I can hit him from behind. Oh, I guess he was nearly dead, but... His spear is glitching for some reason. The a button was actually glitching! Look at that! It's spazzing. And for some reason, the Moblins are not giving out anything. But this is a great opportunity to get all ten... Not ten, all ten, but ten. <laughs> um, Knight's Crest. And I really hate how I lost my Elixir Soup here. But what, what interesting is if if the Dark Elf cannot find its sword, but a Moblin Spear is near it, it will actually use the Moblin Spear, which I think is an interesting touch. I don't know, it shows how smart they can be. Moblins will not use anything except for their own spear for some reason. I'm fairly sure they can use uh, the Darknet Swords with these. Jeez! I did not expect that. Whoa! How did I not get rid of his armor? <laughs> and he just ran into that. I love how in this game enemies can actually hurt each other. And how did that hit the other enemy? And how did that not get hit there? I remember seeing in the Nintendo magazine how they talked about how enemies can actually hurt you, like other enemies. And they like, said, you were just that cool. 
Or they just want you that much. If you want to be cheap here, you can actually... Well, take out your bow and snipe the moblins from afar. Like so. Unfortunately, you have to get up and close and personal in order to deal with the Dark Nuts. That's what you get for doing that. See, I'm gonna use my elixir because I really want to show the Master Sword double damage here, I guess. What the? Okay, that did not appear for some reason. This can be a bit hectic at times, because you're going to have to deal with what is probably the hardest enemies in the game, and they can kind of overwhelm you in some spots. They can also kind of not, I guess. I don't really know how to put it, really. Well, that was easy. Double damage magic sword is pretty awesome. What you can also do is get the jump on enemies pretty well. Like, you can easily sneak behind them. Like so. When you have the double damage, they're much easier to deal with. Probably to the point of being jokes. Oh wow, that failed. Whoa. Okay, he missed me horribly there. Let me see if I can beat him with his own sword. Where does sword go? Okay, I think that's it. What's interesting is how the enemies I mean, how the Dark Nuts actually have shields here. And yet the one we encountered back in the Tower of the Gods, while some of the ones here actually don't. Shields, they actually don't really have much of a use for them. They should make an FPS based in Zelda where you can only use the bow and long range items. That was totally worth it. It was like, what the fuck hit me? What's hitting me? I believe there should be one down here. Is... Okay, I guess there isn't. I guess I took him out already. Punches ally? And the reaction command was for some reason spazzing out there. And this is how it should be using the double damage with kitties and not actually getting hit random. Woo! Randomly. Nobody dropped. I think there's just another mob going off, and that's it. Okay, is it dark now? He tried- <laughs> He 
got knocked off the edge because he did a horrible roundhouse kick. Oh wow, that actually killed the Dark Nut. I didn't think it was still alive. I mean, I thought it was still alive. I didn't think it actually died. And I believe we should have... Yep, ten knight Knight's Crests. Now out here... There's a whole other world we can explore. So let's go! The hell? This is red stuff. There's something we can hit. Okay... We can't really do anything, so let's just head back. So I guess everything's back to normal now for this place. So, we're done here. Well, we're not exactly gonna rescue a real just yet. There's actually something I- a lot of things I want to do before we get on that. 